All right, y'all, let's make this hot wing boil. All right, so I start out with a pot of boiling water, and I'm sprinkling a lot of Old Bay or, you know, semi a lot of Old Bay. So I add my raw potatoes in there along with this frozen corn, and I'm let them cook together until the potatoes kind of go semi-soft. All right, in another pan, I got my um, sausage that I cut up, and I put a little oil in the pan. Once the oil starts simmering a little bit, I add a little water and cover it. And then, so you got my potatoes boiling, corn boiling, you got the sausage simmering. Once the sausage is cooked through, I just kind of take the lid off, the water evaporate, and I kind of just sear it, get that like brown color. Take the potatoes and the sausage, put them in a dish, and over in my pot, I still got my corn, and I add a little butter after I take the water out. And what I'm gonna do is just shake that around on the very hot eye so that it kind of, you know, gives some color to the corn, gives a nice little saltiness and, and caramelizes the sugar on the outside. So then I'll take all of that, keep it in the dish, and then I'm gonna cover this with some foil and put it in a 200 degree oven and just let it just sit in there while I finish the rest. All right, in the pot, I'm gonna make my sauce. I got a little butter that's melting. I got a whole entire bottle Old Bay hot sauce, and I'm just gonna empty that in there. I ended up using like a quarter or half, quarter half to another bottle as well. And so I add that in there, and then I'm gonna add some lemon pepper. This is the kindest brand that has no salt in it. It's still just as fire. And I'm gonna whisk all that together. This is gonna make my, my sauce. It's gonna go over the boil and the wings. This is the wing sauce. Trust me, y'all, this is fire. All right, so I got my wings coming up out the grease. I like to fry mine crispy. Y'all might like some soggy soft wings, but I don't, I don't. So in this um, mixing bowl, I just added my crispy wings. I'm gonna take that sauce, just pour it over there and toss those in there till they cover. Just like that. And then from there, I'm gonna um, take and I'm gonna add those, pour it right over my hot side items, whatever you wanna call this. Y'all know the boiled stuff. Corn, sausage, potatoes. And I'm gonna just eventually, eventually, there we go. I'm just gonna toss those wings right out of there. And they're just gonna kind of just toss everything around. I added my boiled eggs in there because I bought the ones that were pre-cooked. Y'all might wanna boil your own eggs, it's up to you. And then I added the rest of my sauce in there and then sprinkled some Old Bay on top. Just a little, to set it off. Added a little bit of parsley and boom, there it is. You can garnish with a couple lemons if you want to. But yeah, y'all, this was so fire. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Taco Bell. Oh, God, too. <laughs> Ain't that it? Think of Taco Bell. I don't even want to talk about I don't about give him a four. Real why? Give him a damn four. Stop. Stop. Hard shell tacos. All my toppings is just just gone. I got two. <laughs> I got a, I got two shreds of cheese. One yellow, <laughs> one white, and that's all I got. And then my lettuce is just that's all. I got more lettuce than anything. <laughs> Beef is already soggy the bottom of the taco. Out. I got thirty seconds to take a bite before the joke is going to disintegrate in my hand. And by that time, it ain't going to happen because I got my sauce packet. I can't even get my sauce packet <laughs> on now. The joke has already started turning to cornmeal. The shells turn to corn meal. What up, crew members, and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy AJ and your girl, Danny. and we back with another lit, 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 lit video. All right, y'all, back with another move on today. What we're gonna be having, baby? We have a hot wing bowl, y'all. <laughs> so in this bowl, we have corn. We got eggs, sausage, a hot wing, of course. And did I miss something? Uh, I don't think I did. Uh, oh, potato. potato! Look, how could I? Yeah, we how got we potato? got the ghetto ass wing bowl. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin sent me a, a picture of somebody doing this like a couple weeks ago. Um, I haven't seen any videos like so. I said I'm gonna create it. I don't care. I want to see. And so y'all, I made like mm -hmm. a. Uh, I made an old bay lemon pepper sausage on the wings and throughout the bowl, y'all. I got a little bit of ranch back here, y'all. We about to get it in. I put the recipe at the front of the video. So y'all can see how I made it. Mm -hmm. So try it out. Mm -hmm. Try it out. Any creators, try it out. Tell me how you like it. Mm -hmm. Tag us. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. If y'all already know the deal, if you're new to this channel, please, please, please subscribe. Consider subscribing at least. You know what I'm saying? Hit that notification bell so you notify every time the cannons drops on the heat. 
for that ass. Oh, yes. And guys, also remember to give this video a thumbs up. All right, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pray over this food so that we can get it in. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food. Lord, let it be nourished to our bodies. Bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Y'all, I got this. Uh, I saw this at the store. Um, I actually saw Badlands Chug. Chug. So, I was... You chug. Interesting. I ain't chug. Yeah. Got me fucked up. Yeah, cool. I mean, uh, choke. I uh, choke it. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> so I'm, I'm truck. It's marshmallow. Let's see if it tastes like a marshmallow. It's Let me know. Zero. Coke know. Zero marshmallow. Or is it just a marshmallow addition? We don't know. Mm. It smells fruity. Mm. Mm. I'm getting something. Mm. I wouldn't say marshmallow, but it's good. It's like a different version of vanilla. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Right, yeah, so I'm going. I was trying to hurry up before this got cold because, ooh, but it should have a little bit of residual heat. We got corn on the cob. There we go. Look, look fat. Mm -hmm. Yep, I dipped it in the corn on my wing stop today. I'm about to get to that right. I ate it ball. Baby. Good to me. That old baby lemon pepper. <laughs> that old baby lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put on some staples. Mm. Mm. Mmm. Man, listen. Good to me. I'm in mean, my favorite portion of flat. <laughs> a little wrinkle. Uh -uh. Like that potato. A little some ranch. You said when you was younger, you preferred a, a drum. Okay. Or you've always been like teeny no, flat. I used to prefer a uh, drum. Mm. He used to tell me about flats, I wouldn't listen. Yeah. Baby, this is about the sauce. <laughs> mm. It's about the sauce. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to turn my potato to the back so I don't double dip. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody in the jump except me. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Potato. Mm. There, I might say it that I like this better than a seafood. And I, oh, <laughs> hmm? I said, There, I might <clears> take <throat> it. Do I like this better than a seafood? Ooh. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I do. I think I do too. Mm. This is so mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. It's really unexpected. Like, I thought, see, y'all, that's why, like, when you cook, I don't care who you are, when you cook your food on a regular and you know what you like, because you used to create your own flavor, so you know what you like. <laughs> you know how you can imagine how stuff's going to taste. So I imagine, I said, that's the whole reason why I'm going to do it, because I could. Conceptualize everything tasting good together and stuff. Mm -hmm. I ain't know it was gonna taste like that. Mm -mm. Well, I knew it was gonna taste delicious when you put your finger in that sauce and tasted it and made all that drama. Mm. I said, Oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> 
I am blessed. <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all. Did I say we had sausage to help? You I don't know that for you. Okay. Mm. Now y'all watch. I'm not gonna pretend to be the originator of this. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do that. But mm. I ain't seen nobody make a wing sauce with that obey. Mm -mm. Lemon pepper like that. It's gonna become all the rave white. It's like something else I did. I ain't gonna talk about it too much, but. Ooh. Something else I did on the channel. I chose a recipe. <laughs> I literally have never seen anybody do it ever. It's not that I'm not a really big person like. Give me my credit for this, give me my credit Ooh. for that. But. I had never really seen anybody do this. And I saw a guy on TikTok. This is a year and a half later. Talking about y'all better start giving me my credit for when I came up with this. He was lying. Because he was lying. He even said he was lying. Like He was just like, I used to sell the marketing tool because he sells the item. But, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was an original creation. And, uh. People around with it, but that's just the internet, though. Mm -hmm. you know I'm saying you could something out there on the internet. People gonna do that, mm -hmm. especially if they have the audience, right? And they didn't think of it, right? People, and then when you're a smaller creator, you are blessed when you come across people who have bigger platforms to you that can, um. That can, uh, you know, reach a bigger audience of you who mm. would who would do something um, that or uh, glean from you and give you credit. Mm. Because a lot of people, they just don't. They rather take the credit for themselves because it's easy because they've already built their platform up. Right. Y'all ain't heard me complain yet. Mm -mm. And I'm not complaining now, I'm just stating facts. I know how that shit goes. Like, there's another channel out here that I recently came across. And I saw a video and it just looked so similar to something that I had did. And I was like, well maybe, you know, they got it, the idea from somewhere else. Let's see how he made it. Cause I put the recipe out on this particular thing. Mm -mm. Made just like me, but their channel has over 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> they, they literally, I believe, I believe took the took the recipe from me, but there's nothing I could do about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't have been nothing for them to just say, you know, hey. I got this from Bada But that's God. not how it always <laughs> worked. People would much rather on my own channel. The reason I know that they have been taking I took that particular recipe from me because it was a cooking channel. But, and they have some good recipes out there on their own, but maybe, I don't know, could do from somebody else's, but mm -hmm. um, a lot of the things that I had done, they did in succession on that channel. I had never even seen a comment from them in my life. I just so happened to come across it. And it's crazy, because you sit there and fight in your mind, you'd be like, this ain't what I'm seeing. Uh, this, is this, am I tripping? Cause I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, they copying me. They biting me. I bite. But sometimes I'd rather I look into the facts, you know, before I start assuming stuff. But, I don't split it. Because I already know, you know, Whatever I'ma have, what God has for me, it is for me. And that's just the way I look at it. You know what I'm saying? You can't spend your time Come on, <laughs> upset about people, you know, 
doing your own and taking credit for stuff that's not your own. You know, we live in a wicked world, so oh, yeah. things like that are gonna happen. Well, you just gotta know that, like, whatever you're gonna get based off of your hard work is gonna come to you, and can't nobody else stop it. That's mm -hmm. just that. Let me eat one of these boy this, y'all. I ate one. What's that, LaShawn? Hmm? Yes. What God has for me. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. The gospel would be gospel. Everybody say it, everybody say it. <laughs> you be thinking you know the original artist? Well, you don't. And don't. I can't never forget how old I sound. When you told me that, um, like all these songs I used to listen to from Kurt Franklin was sampled off of others, and I said, <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. oh, for real. <laughs> Cause I had no clue. I wasn't listening to the other stuff. It wasn't introduced to me, so I had no clue. So I go back and listen to it. I said, oh, nah. Mister. That's the old school stuff. You don't know nothing about that. I don't. <laughs> so you had no idea. Mm mm. <laughs> that he over here talking about a September. <laughs> <laughs> this potato. I need to quit eating. And that potato. How you feel? And that ranch. I know this ranch is the devil, but it's good with every single thing in this box. It's good. It's good. What AJ don't like to say is give him what it's supposed to gain. You <laughs> <laughs> outdid yourself. <laughs> right, man. Mm -mm. That sauce is so good. Mm hmm. I've been had that, lim that, um, <clears throat> well, I hot sauce in my cabinet, mm. but I hadn't used it because I use it, I don't use it often because it's really good. It just ain't got enough heat for me. And so that's why I hadn't really used it like that. I prefer other hot sauce because it's a per I saw a perfect opportunity to use it. Mm -hmm. What a time to be alive. And it's good. It tastes just like Old Bay. Delicious. <laughs> I'm about to tip my finger off. <laughs> so, dog and wings. All right, this is the day. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you a choice. What's up? Do you want to um, pick from the top number one answer for Family Feud? Or do you want to rate fast food restaurants one to ten? Let's rate fast food. Alright. Because I know the audience is going to be ready. I got you. Let's see what y'all think. <laughs> and this overall restaurant, not not specific. Exactly, like it's overall. Um, let me find it. First, Subway. <laughs> Some of y'all might like Subway, but I'm gonna get Subway at four. Oh, we rated, we're not putting them in order, we're rating them like two. We're just giving them numbers. So, let's not even do one to ten, that's too much. Uh, let's do one to five. No, let's do one to ten. You do one to ten? I wanna do one to ten, because right. I need a, a vast range. Some people, All right. you know. All right, so, uh, once again, a one to ten, I'm giving <laughs> Subway a four. I don't, Subway do not do me like they should. They've been out here messing me up. What you getting Subway? I get Subway. <sighs> As of recent years. <laughs> and that's really what my score is off of recent years. I give it about 3.5. Three. Because I won't even go. I won't even go. There's times I'm sitting here like I can go for a sandwich. I would rather pay more. Uh-huh. I drive right past Subway. I won't go. I really think it was the cheese at one time that messed me up. Because I'm like, they over here talking about fresh ingredients. No, this, this is not fresh. That cheese was crusty. The ingredients is the problem? 
How you gonna make my sub wrong in my face? See, now that's some bullshit. Right. <laughs> Who does that about? Right. I'm like. Yes. And then, I don't think they got the Subway vinaigrette no more. Oh, yeah. And that's what I used to put on my sub all the time. If it wasn't olive oil and vinegar, I mean, not olive oil and vinegar, uh, yeah, vinegar and olive oil, the red wine vinegar, mm -hmm. uh, then it was some vinaigrette. And I don't think <coughs> they got it no more. They got some other bush. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, nah. And I'm good on that. Every time I used to get the tuna, somebody talked about their tuna. And that kind of turned me off too, because I'm just like, I'm trying to stand behind the tuna. Sub. I show a I'm trying, to stand, tuna. trying to stand behind the tuna. Sub, and people keep saying that the tuna ain't Because right. somebody did a DNA test and they said that ain't, <laughs> <laughs> they said it ain't tuna. Maybe it's mackerel. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the flats? Did you eat all the flat? You flat hole? Uh, flat hole, I only had two. So watch your damn mouth. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and AJ did the sound effect that I put there. Um, let us see. KFC. What do I want to give KFC? Five. Yeah. I like. It's like cause I can't pick the last time I went to KFC and was like actually satisfied with what they gave me. Right. Like, and it hasn't been that long ago. So I'll give them a solid uh, five, mm -hmm. just because on a good day, if they give me everything extremely fresh, I, I'm, I like it's that one. I'm saying it's everything. I'm talking about that chicken. <clears throat> I got rid of the tater wedges. Yeah. But that was a problem. And then I only like tater wedges when they're fresh anyway. Right. Because when them things go cold, boy, they talk, you talking about some bubblegum, bubblegum Rashida. In a dish. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, and then that macaroni and cheese tastes like butter. It tastes like... Parquet. And you know what was weird is that I didn't know. I knew I didn't like KFC butter, but AJ didn't bring it to my attention on what it tastes. Oh, I said butter. <laughs> yes, they macaroni. Y'all were. But I never. <laughs> shut up. I never really liked it. I was like, what? What is wrong? <clears throat> with it and don't AJ have no said, It tastes like butter. I said, yes, yes, it do. And it's greasy like butter. It's mm. wrong. Parquet. Stop up. Yeah, it tastes like butter. It doesn't have any flavor to it. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I never like that. Mm -hmm. So, the macaroni and gravy, all right. Yeah, I um, like that. I like the biscuits. They're not bad. Yeah. Well, hey, once again. What? They go cold. You got a rock. <laughs> Your solid rock. <laughs> oh, Christ. And it's not juice. Hey, I'm going to start talking about it before I lower their score. Because what did you have originally gave them a five? And you give them four vibes. <laughs> it's really good. I don't know what it tastes like. What? The marshmallow. Oh. <clears throat> it might just be okay. the marshmallow edition. Uh, the artist. Marshmallows. Gotcha. But it don't taste like marshmallows. It's good, though. All right, Domino's. Okay, so lately here... Domino's been giving me seven. Domino's been seven to seven, eight. Uh, okay. They run. Domino's been hitting now. Now you know. Hey, I know everybody in the kind of like <laughs> Domino's is trash. Yeah. I don't want no Let Domino's. Let me tell you something. When I was back home in college eating Domino's, Domino's probably got a five out of me. But um, yeah. AJ and I've been getting them seven nine nines. <laughs> Domino's and we've ordered They've been good to me We've ordered Domino's more than, I, mm -hmm. than we've ever ordered Domino's I've never ordered Domino's so much in my life Because I was more inclined to order it anyway than she was mm, Yes Because I like the little little season they put on their crust mm -hmm. But they ain't always be like I don't want that shit okay. They ain't like Papa John's That's what she like I like regular And to be honest Let me I'm gonna say this and don't I don't want ever hear nothing about it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I had Papa John's at work the other day and, and I didn't like it. And it was not good. <laughs> it was bad. Well, shit.
Another one, they crush it. I was like, once, maybe I don't like pizza no more. Once Papa John's crust get cold, it's just and like KFC biscuits. Happened. It's just like KFC biscuits. <laughs> uh -huh. I was like, I used to love Papa John's, mm -hmm. and I was like, I refuse to tell AJ. This has probably been over <laughs> a month now. I'm not telling this man that I don't like Papa John's no more because he gonna be she like, I told pizza, you, man. I told you. And, and the weird thing is that I might like Pizza Hut now. She, but, um, she talked junk about Pizza Hut, and Pizza Hut is what I prefer because I like the pan. Mm -hmm. Like, I like the pan. Like, the dough in the pan is just the best for me. And and Domino's pan is, is good, but it don't taste like Pizza Hut. Y'all, that, that pizza from, I about said Little Caesars, because that ain't even in the running. Um, That pizza from Papa John's made me nauseous. I said, oh my God, maybe I don't like Papa John's as much as I thought. And it might be the garlic sauce that I'm liking, to be honest. But what's funny is that that garlic sauce does not taste good, but with only their pizza. Like if I try to eat it with somebody else's, it's mm. not good. All right, next one, McDonald's. I pull up the McDonald's a lot sometimes you know in my life but if i have to rate their food probably gonna give it a five i i'd be mediocre is, if mcdonald's would actually give you fresh food it'd be fine you'd probably be okay oh, with yeah. it i'm still not a i don't go crazy over mcdonald's mcdonald's we all don't have it all our lives mm -hmm. you know unless you were privy to have a parent who said my child ain't eating no eat McDonald's, McDonald's. ain't eating no mother my we going to the damn house. Did you hear what I said? My mama love McDonald's, okay? <laughs> <coughs> but most of us, McDonald's has been around all our life. Mm -hmm. And most popular fast food burger chain, mm -hmm. that's just, you gonna have McDonald's. So, I mean, most people, some people just still love it to death. Mm -hmm. McDonald's ain't horrible when it's fresh. When right. it's not fresh, everything is garbage. And I feel like it looked like it be talking. The burgers look like they be talking. Nuggets look sad. You can peel the skin off and then the inside of the nugget is just The fish up. filet bun, they be giving me a uh, chicken bun. I, this is not a dollar and something. In any case, why is a McChicken now two something? They know better. They know better for making a McChicken two thirty. I don't know if it's exactly two thirty, but it's well over two dollars. Let me say that. Right. I'm just like this McChicken is not worth what y'all making you, us you pay. You should go get two McChickens and a drink for, uh, for two dollars. Still not, and still have a couple dollars left. And well, I'm like, get that, uh, two McDrink, <laughs> two McChickens and a uh, and a dollar sweet tea, baby. Honey, that used to be the meal. <laughs> and I'm like, when I'm saying this, am I getting older? Because you remember, like, when you were growing up, and you used to hear them say, "Oh, this used to be." Seventy-five cent, and I'd be like, "Girl, if you don't know, get them right, out yeah. of here." And I'm like, "Am I getting older?" The, because the inflation is still a mother boy. Yes, I'm even like, cookout trays ain't what they used to be. Everything they ain't causing what they used to be. All right, Chick Fil A. AJ and I. I get Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A to me has gone down a little bit, mm -hmm. and I don't know, it's just because I over ate it. But I, get, I don't know if it's that or I'm getting older or people are just messing up. I get Chick Fil A. I don't think I rated McDonald's. Okay. I thought you gave him a four. Uh, I ain't say that. Uh, I gave him. I gave him a five. I gave him. A I gave five. him a four. <clears throat> Chick Fil A. I give him a solid eight. Just because when it's good, it's good. Yes. When that chicken breast, I ain't gonna take It's hot out the grease and on your sandwich and everything is looking good and and you hungry. Let's add that in there. You don't like their salads and their cool wraps. When you hungry, right? Pooh, just like at the spot, man. But it do not taste the way it used to. <clears throat> now I used to love their nuggets more. Their nuggets aren't so good to me anymore. They good, but they just not like. I used to be like, man, these nuggets need to come in. I tell you, them. Alright, I'm gonna do two more, I guess. There's some up here I really wanted to do, but anyway. Um, we can do a part two. Oh, uh, yeah. So, the next one, Wendy's. Who be sleeping on Wendy's? I'll give Wendy's a solid six and a half. Yes. 
Six and a half, seven, seven. I'm gonna give them a seven for for what they are for a fast food burger oh, yeah. restaurant that's been around a while. They, cause you know, for the most part, out of all of Wendy's, Burger King, and McDonald's, those are their main fast food. Yeah, right? they'll give you the freshest food. Oh yeah, out of the three. More the more um more frequently, mm -hmm. like you can probably. Out of you go to Burger King, you know what I'm saying. I think McDonald's gonna give you the uh, the, the uh, coldest food, the oldest food, quicker than any other. <laughs> but I think Wendy's gonna you more likely to get fresh food now. Mm -hmm. That's not saying anything. Just more likely, to go. and then it tastes better. Right. Like, the burgers taste better. The uh, the fries is here and there because they always change the fries. Them fries and them salads is here and there anyway because I be in salad and sometimes my lettuce be. Be right. Be having red pizza. <laughs> All right. For our finale. What? Burger King? No. That's oh. next, but we'll do that on this part two. Taco Bell. Oh, God, too. <laughs> AJ! Stick a Taco Bell. I don't even want Taco Bell. I'm going to give him a four. Real why? Give him a damn four. St stop. Real why I'm getting a four is <laughs> because I still eat it. I'm going to give it a four because I eat it. Taco Bell workers got attitudes and they give you they garbage do. food. Like, stop giving me a taco. I order, if I do but order, I let's say I order sometimes. regular hard shell tacos. All my toppings is just, is just gone. I got two, <laughs> I got, a, I got two shreds of cheese and one yellow, <laughs> one white. And that's all I got. And then my lettuce is just, that's all. I got more lettuce than anything. <laughs> Beef is already soggy in the bottom of the taco. I, I got, 30 seconds to take a bite before the joke is going to disintegrate in my hand. And by that time, it ain't going to happen because I got my sauce packet. I can't even get my sauce packet mm -hmm. on there. <laughs> the junkers already start turning to cornmeal. The shells Shut turn to cornmeal. Up. Then beyond that, you get a quesadilla. The quesadilla be Dude, tasting like it black. It be through. Not tasting like They don't be putting it enough be sauce like on there. Stove top. The only thing you can maybe count on is them cinnamon twists. Do they even have those? They still have them? You get one of them freezes, what well, used to be called a fruitista freeze. You get one of them freezes, half of it be melted before it even get in your hands. Oh, God damn! What's that thing I wanted that one time I put up, they ain't had no more. That, uh, empanada! Oh, that was probably one of the best things about talking about. Ooh, that empanada oh, gave me life, they don't have no more. And so, like, I mean, Taco I and I worked there before. It's, it's just, we got a vendetta. I don't like it. <laughs> I got a vendetta. You know what I'm Your nachos, I like their nachos Bel Grande. But oh, yeah. nacho chips, I'm just like, what kind of you gotta hurry up and eat stuff that are y'all using? Because the nacho chips go soggy so quick, you can eat it with a fork. Everything you know is the race to Witch Mountain. You better hurry up and eat that. <laughs> <laughs> you better hurry up. Because if you don't, it's going to be dead. That's crazy. Everything. Dead. I got a quesadilla from there a couple weeks ago. I don't know how many times I heat that thing up in the microwave. It did not come back. <laughs> it was dead. <laughs> you know what I did? I ate it anyway. Because I paid for it. Honey, it went in there. Y'all like, know like a Wizard of Oz when uh, oh, the, the witch. And then roll, roll, that roll it. The feet, honey. <laughs> you dumb. Mm. All right, y'all. We're going to do a part two on these because I got like six more. <laughs> y'all, but this right was thing. absolutely out of uh, y'all know yes. I've done. I, we do seafood boys. Y'all know I've done oxtail boys yeah. before. This right here was good, and it was the sauce. So uh, let's rate these then. What? Got a hot wing ball, a seafood ball, and a oxtail ball. Rate them how? Let's rate them one to five. I don't want you to have a wide range. This. Oh, this is a, this is a solid, this is a solid five. I'm gonna Wait. give it a five. Five star, five star, five star, five star. Sifu. Ta 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 ta. Uh uh. Hmm. Sifu. Mm. When I want it, uh, five, four and a half. I would give when, it four. When I me. don't want it. <laughs> don't answer mm. when you don't want it. Oxtail. Oxtail is in between for me. Well, it's four, four ish, three and a half, four ish, and I say this because. I like oxtails, but I don't want them with this stuff. Right. Like, like this right here, I would have never thought you could slap some uh, wing sauce 
on some corn and sausages and potatoes with some with some chicken and it would be delicious with the ranch. All right. I would have never knew it. And what's odd is that when your cousin sent it, I said, this is strange, but I'm intrigued. Right. We like, both, I was like, right. hmm. I, I, was like yeah. I did not, nasty was not the first thing that came to my head, but I was like, no, I said, this, this is strange, but. I said, this ghetto is hell, and I said. This might could work. What this tastes like. <laughs> and it worked. Y'all know I'll go ahead and cook something Okay. Good. Y'all was trying to get, uh, by the time you say, see this, yet last night's video would have already come out. Mm -hmm. Y'all haven't seen it, but that video is what we're waiting on right now. You, I ain't gonna. Spin, no, don't you do it. Don't, don't say nothing. <laughs> it's best don't say nothing. May the Lord watch. Y'all, my know, allergies and sometimes my behind. If we're a little behind <laughs> on the videos, we're trying our best, but you know. Technological issues prevent. Yes. And so yeah. But anyway, fam, if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Do it. Remember, if you would like a shout out, share our video on Facebook. Yes. And like this, and give this video a thumbs up before you share it. Share this video on Facebook and tag us. I'll put the link to our Facebook in the description if it's not there. That way you know exactly where the tag us at and we will guarantee you to shout you out in our next oh, yeah. video. So anyway, y'all, love y'all. Remember, drop a comment. Guys, share the video because Shannon and Scans will care about us. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hashtag grow, baby, grow. Moving closer to 45K, y'all. Thank you, thank you so much for being here, Danielle. Do you have anything for our lovely crew members? If somebody is nosy, tell them to mind they damn. Yeah. Business. Tell them to mind it. Tell them to mind it, honey. Read it. My email with me. All right. <laughs>